After World War II, cities and countries in Europe were in terrible conditions. Communism was taking over and Europe desperately needed help. So the United States devised the Marshall Plan. This was created so that the United States could show its support for European countries by sending food and other resources that the USSR could not provide, along with helping rebuild the countries, the United States became a strong ally to parts of Europe. The people of the United States wanted to make sure that nothing like World War II ever happened again and the creation of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, or NATO, was created. The signing of the organization by President Truman in 1949 consisted of 12 countries, the United States, Canada, Belgium, Denmark, France, Iceland, Italy, Luxembourg, and the Netherlands, Norway, Portugal, and the United Kingdom. They all agreed that if one of the 12 countries went under attack, then all of the remaining countries would help defend. And then they read how in Washington, 12 nations had signed what came to be known as the North Atlantic Treaty. And if they had doubts about the new organization, NATO, the need for it was proved at once by the virulence of the Soviet and communist reaction. This was driving a rift between East and West. This was an affront to all peace-loving peoples. They paraded the dove as a symbol of peace, and peace was their slogan. This is a film produced in 1969 for the Office and Chief of Information by the Army Pictorial Center. The purpose of this film was to educate the people of the United States on why the Army supported NATO and what NATO could do for the United States. One of the values of this film is that it is a primary document, and it is originally made by the United States Army during the Cold War. Another value is that it was used to show the public and, therefore, and is therefore a source of knowledge for what the public knew about NATO and the Cold War in the late 1960s. One limitation for this film is since it was made by the United States Army, the information is biased and only looks at the good sides of NATO. Another limitation that the document didn't give the perspective of the USSR and what they thought about the formation of NATO. In 1955, a new member joined the North Atlantic Treaty Organization, West Germany. While the eastern part of Germany was under occupation by communism and the Soviet Union, the United States believed that giving arms to West Germany was essential to stop the expansion of the Soviet Union and the rise of communism. When the USSR heard of the news of West Germany joining NATO, the USSR, along with Albania, Poland, Czechoslovakia, Hungary, Bulgaria, Romania, and East Germany created the Warsaw Pact. This pact was formed in response to the creation of NATO, and the countries pledged to help if a country in the pact was under attack. However, with the creation of the Warsaw Pact, Soviet soldiers were also placed in each of the seven other countries involved in the pact. Oh yeah, of course, uh, I remember hearing about Warsaw Pact. Uh, it was supposed to be a big celebration for everybody. It was in 1945, but uh, we live already under communism, except that Russian uh, wanted to make uh, more, uh, they wanted to have more influence and more power over other Eastern European countries, like Poland, Bulgaria, Czechoslovakia, Romania, East Germany, and they, so they, this was their way of making sure that they exert the power over those countries. Gosh, everything about America was negative. Everything. My father was a very smart man. He was a lawyer and he was a very smart man. And he felt that I'm totally brainwashed in school. And he was telling me always, remember, there is another part of the world in addition to Russia, which is called America. And he has never been to America. But I think that's a, that's a good country. And I, th I hope he was always saying that one day you will go there. Every paper, every Sunday or Saturday, there were cartoons showing big fat Americans drinking beer and watching football games. 
Americans were called imperialists, they, that they wanted to invade the whole world, that they didn't care about people. They were showing poor people, black and white, on the streets of New York and other places uh, being uh, terribly treated. And they were saying, look, you live in this wonderful communism. Your kids go to school. Everybody's equal. In America, it's just an awful, awful system. So I did never, never heard anything good about United States.